Good morning to all my friends on social media. I hope you're all doing well. And as you start a brand new week, I wanted to talk to you about achievement motivation. Now, this is something I've often talked about in my keynotes and workshops. Achievement motivation is the basic human desire to witness progress, to create progress, to do something new in your life and to move forward. Pause right now and think about the best days you've had at work in the last 30 days or in the last 60 days, the best day you have had at work. And chances are, it was not the day in which you were sitting around doing nothing or checking social media feeds. Chances are, those are not the best days you're going to recall when you didn't have a lot to do. Chances are that your best day will be the one on which you had a lot to do and you made it happen. And even though you felt that you stretched and pushed yourselves to the limit, but you ended the day with a great feeling of internal satisfaction of having achieved something. This is what I call achievement motivation, which is setting a goal and making it happen. Setting a goal and making it happen. The quickest and the most powerful way to create self-confidence and to raise your self-esteem is to set goals and to make them happen. Um, And if these are self-imposed goals, if these are goals you came up by yourself, if they, they are part of your what's next list, if they have not been imposed on you by your boss or your environment or your corporation, if you have yourself come up with this list of improvement that you would like to achieve on a given day or in a week, that's even better. So I finished this little audio clip with a few tips for the week. Number one, remember to set set goals that stretch you beyond your comfort zone. It's really, really important. Number two, think of goals that nobody else is imposing on you. Your boss is not imposing on you, your corporation, the people that you work for, your, not your environment, but you can't up with these sort of improvement projects it could be anything you know they think about small things they need not be necessarily be very big things think about the blog you wanted to publish the video you wanted to create to get that website up and running that you've been thinking about or just cook or bake or clean or garden or whatever needs to be done Number three, understand that most people are bored because they have not created a what's next list. They don't have a mechanism in their life in which they are putting enough on a list to which they look forward to. Hence, they're not looking forward eagerly to the work day or to the work week. And that is um, really, really dangerous because that leads to disengagement and disillusionment and boredom and negativity and those sort of things. Number four, please remember, social media is a trap. It gives you the illusion of accomplishment, what I've always called the illusion of accomplishment. Social media is a perfect place to feel that you've accomplished something with all those likes and comments on your photographs or your posts coming in. But you might not have created real progress towards your goals. So uh, make sure that you keep this in mind, these four points in mind, as you go forward this week. And I wish you all uh, a very productive week ahead. And I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.